Welcome. I'm Jerry Oginski, a medical malpractice trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. Today's topic is seven phrases in law that you may have heard before, but were afraid to ask exactly what they meant. Here's number one. Objection sustained. What does that mean? It means that a witness at trial is asked a question by his or her attorney, and the other attorney objects to the question. Now, the judge has the opportunity to make one of two rulings. Either the witness can answer the question, or the witness is told they cannot answer the question. If the witness can answer the question, the judge will say, objection overruled, which means, go ahead, you can answer the question. If the judge feels that the question should not be answered, the judge will say, objection sustained, and not permit the witness to answer the question. Number three, that was one and two. Number three, what is surrogate's court? Well, in a death action, we have to have a family member named as a representative of the estate in order to step into the shoes of the person who has died in order to bring a lawsuit. And to do that, we have to go into a court known as surrogate's court, which is the court that oversees all cases involving estates, what the person who has died has left to their family. And it's a simple process to do, and all malpractice attorneys and personal injury lawyers are familiar with how to do that. Number four, what is a deposition, and will I have to testify at a deposition? To answer the second part of the question first, the answer is yes. You will have to testify if you bring a lawsuit. A deposition is a question and an answer session, and if you know from watching my other videos, I went through this in detail, but it's basically an opportunity for you to give sworn testimony about what has happened to you, what you remember occurring, and what injuries you suffered because of the wrongdoing, and how it's affected you, and how it's disabled you. So it gives the attorneys for the defense an opportunity to find out a lot about what happened to you and why. And a deposition is sworn testimony. It's as if you're giving testimony at trial. And although there's no judge or jury in the room at your attorney's office, nevertheless, that testimony is given under oath. And there's a court reporter present who takes down all the information and then transcribes it, puts it in a booklet, and you are required to sign it and exchange a copy of that with the lawyer for the doctor or the hospital. The next question is, what is an appeal? An appeal is where a party has lost, either at, uh, from a ruling the judge has made during a trial or as a result of a jury verdict, where you go to a higher court in order to ask them to reconsider the decision or the verdict that was rendered by a jury. And an appellate court looks to see what was in the record. What's in the transcript? What was in the evidence? What was the legal issue that the attorney is coming asking us to reconsider? They no longer hear any additional testimony. It's simply matters that occur on the record and are issues of law to be decided by a panel of judges in New York. And an appeals court can make a number of decisions. They can decide to throw out the decision by a jury or by the judge. They can decide that a new trial is warranted they can reduce or increase in any award that's made to the victim. So there are many options available to the court, and it's all based upon what they find on the appeal. Next, what does right of subrogation mean? Well, that's an interesting question, because if you have health insurance and you suffered injuries because of wrongdoing by a doctor or a hospital, in all probability, your health insurance company will have paid your medical bills. Well, at some point during your litigation, that health insurance company is going to learn that there's a lawsuit. And they do that through many ways. Most commonly is that the lawyer for the defense sends a request for your records to the health insurance company. And that sends up a signal to them that there's a lawsuit involved and you might be receiving money potentially because of wrongdoing that occurred from someone else. And that any money you receive from that wrongdoing would go to pay your medical expenses. And since your health insurance company has already paid your expenses, they are required, or they will try and obtain reimbursement for the money that they have laid out to pay for your medical expenses, solely as a result of somebody else's wrongdoing. That's called a right of subrogation. And lastly, the question often arises, what is hearsay? Hearsay is when a witness is in court and is asked a question about something they heard somebody else talk about. And the witness now is going to describe to the jury and to the court what they overheard somebody else say. And you will often hear a lawyer stand up and say, objection, judge, that's hearsay. And that's absolutely true. 
if the witness starts to talk about something that he overheard someone else say. Oh, Dr. Jones told me that X, Y, and Z. Oh, Jenny told me this, this, and this. Well, guess what? Since the lawyers can no longer question the person that the witness is talking about in court, they don't have an opportunity to cross-examine that witness to find out the truth of the matter as to whether or not what this witness is saying is actually correct. So therefore, that's considered hearsay. It's an out-of-court statement made by somebody else that's been overheard. And now a witness is in court trying to talk about it. And the objection sustained, you're going to hear, and that means, you know it from our talk earlier, no, you cannot talk about that. Next question, please. And those are seven things that you commonly hear in law but may not have heard the answers to. And that's it for today. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day, and thank you for joining me.